guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today we are making this very cool water fountain. But it's not quite a Backyard Scientist video if something doesn't get set on fire, right? I can change that. Check it out. It's a fire fountain. It's water. It's fire. Fire fountain. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. No special effects. Check it out. You just splashed it. Let me show you how to make it. Here is a parts list. You can find everything that you need on Amazon, but I went to the hardware store and I found everything there. It was a little bit cheaper. Let's start with the fountain head because it's really the hardest and it's super simple to make, honestly. All you need is a six inch length of pipe, a 90 degrees barb adapter for the hose of water. You need this little metal pipe that will be the propane injector. You need some straws, a quarter inch barb fitting, and a 5 16 washer. So this is how everything's assembled. It's pretty self-explanatory. First, drill a hole into the bottom of the 90 degree fitting. Next, add a bunch of straws, making sure that the propane injector is centered in the center of the pipe. Next, screw on the 90 degree fitting and push the propane injector through it. Now you can glue or epoxy the hose barb onto the propane injector like this so it's sturdy. Once that's done, you can glue the washer on the other end. That's where the water will come out. Now that we've got the injectors made, it's time to try them out. All right, guys, I was getting ready to test out the water fountain with the propane to show you and test it out. But guess what? Sandra left the gate open to the pool. And guess what? Now we got an alligator in the pool. This is Florida, Sandra. Come on. Look at this thing. It almost got Randy. And not only that, look, it's a rocket gator. It, you can tell it's rockets hanging out right now. It must be mating season. Uh, I don't think it's that much of a danger, though. I mean, it's only a B-sized motor. Poor guy's probably not even going to make it through mating season anyway. First, we've got to turn on the pump. Now we've got to turn on the propane. I think we're ready to go. Oh, no! He's going to go off! We're going to run! For real now let's test out this sprayer so here we have our pump this is the pump that i got from harbor freight it said 620 gallons per hour it was like 45 dollars you can pretty much find the exact same thing online on amazon and now for this we're using the propane bottle just one of these small one pound propane bottles with this nifty regulator that i also found on amazon it was like ten dollars so it's pretty nice it's like a pretty it's not exactly perfectly not perfect laminar flow, but you know, it's good enough. It's better than it was before, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, so this is how it is. Then we just turn it on. Turn it on high. That's on high, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's try this. Look at that. Pretty cool. So we're, I think it works the best when it's like this. You can like shoot it. Watch. Isn't that weird? It's like a water flamethrower. It would be easy to build an enclosure so I can just recirculate the same water over and over again and just make a nice little stand for it. So that's what I think we'll do next. Oh man, well I guess you can't really destroy a gator because they survived the asteroid impact, right? So they're basically fireproof. Oh well. I keep getting distracted with this thing. I guess I should actually finish building the enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go. That was cool. All right, so here's the box that I've made to hold everything. It basically has a bucket in it with the pump and the propane tank right here, and then a bucket that holds everything else. And this slides right on top, and it's got three holes in it. One for the water to come in, one for the water to drain, and then one for the gas. And that kind of just goes right over the bucket, just like that. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot more holes in there than three holes. That's because there's a little bit of trial and error involved in getting this thing working. So the pump gets connected like this. Ugh. The gas goes in there. The water goes in there. The thunder goes there. Yikes. Notice how it's getting really dark out right now. It's about to start raining. Just when I got this finished. Wow, the second I get this working, it starts pouring rain. Look at that. Ah, well, I don't think it's going to go out because it's like basically made of water, but I think now is the perfect time to take a break and talk about the sponsor for this video, Wix. Maybe we should move inside because this is really a lot of rain. Primrose, you want to do the Wix ad with me? Yeah? 
So I've done ads with Wix before, right? You've heard of them before. And you know why? That's because they're cool. Wix doesn't care if I strap a rocket to an alligator or pour molten lava in my pool or they don't care if I promised them this video three days ago. No, what they do care about is making dank websites. Is that right, Primrose? High five. That's right. Wix is a free platform that allows you to build highly customizable, professional, and robust websites. You can use the advanced drag and drop tool to create a website, a beautiful website, quickly and efficiently. Wix enables you to build a website for almost any purpose, be it a business, growing your own personal brand, or creating a public service announcement on the dangers of rocket gators. Wix offers hundreds of templates, unlimited pages, and top grade hosting for free! Upgrade to one of their premium plans to get even more. I wanted a website where I could answer some questions, sell some merch, and post supplementary information for some of my videos. Seriously, check out this website. I made it myself so you know that it is a flawless, high-quality design. Rocket Gator! <laughs> Alright boys, now's the time. Go to Wix.com slash go slash backyard to get started building your free website today. And if you want more premium features, upgrade to a premium plan. 15% off using code BACKYARD15. Nice. Alright guys, we are back. The rain is gone. It's another beautiful day in Florida. And now the last step to making this thing, I guess, is to add some rocks for added fanciness. <laughs> All right, I showed you guys how to build this thing, but I never really explained how it works. So what you're having happen is this propane nozzle is injecting propane on the very inside of this column of water, the stream of water that's going up. And then the bubbles reach the surface up here where they come out of the water, and then you light it on fire, that's where the fire happens. And the reason this works is because all of the water molecules are like basically in almost a laminar flow. They're all kind of traveling in the same direction, so the, it really traps the propane bubbles on the inside of the column of the water. That's why we put the straws in there, because it takes the choppy, like turbulent water from the pump, smooths it out, straightens it out, so you can just kind of carry that propane bubble through the column of water. Well, all right, now that we got the fire fountain working, I think it's time to just sit back and relax and enjoy the beauty and wonder of the fire fountain. You know what? I'm over this. I'm Fireballs! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Rocket Gator? <laughs> oh, man. Gators are not meant to fly. Aerodynamics are a little off. Rocket gators are everywhere this time of year. Oh, that one almost got me. Did you see that thing? It came right at me. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking if I've heard about what happened to Grant Thompson, and I have. It's very sad what happened to him. I've met him a couple times over the years. He's a super nice guy to me. He even came over and we I showed him how my Tesla coil works. We went down to a park and some people were releasing a squirrel and he was climbing all over us. A lot of good memories. He still lives on on the internet and, you know, a thousand videos online. His kids will still be making his molten metal foundry from now until the end of the internet. So, in a way, he still kind of lives on. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you ever make one of these, send it to me on Instagram or email. I'd love to see how you did it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.